Hello, a uh, very, very, very good evening to all of you. I am super, super excited. In fact, so excited. I've got a new special T-shirt to show sketch noting, and I never, I don't like shopping, so I'm so happy that I am here today. Finally, I have been up since five a.m. Excited to do this. It's like my first day at school. And I'm so excited to see Priyansh. All you old people, new people. Renu is here. Priyansh is here. Priyansh's mom is here. Nirvan, Renu, Ka, Maryam, Rachna, Sujata, J C. Wow, this looks like an uh, literal uh, uh, annual day. Let me look at the poll results and see also who's there. Okay, 40% of you are students. 3% of them, okay, a lot of people are just out of curiosity, superb, okay, many of you are from part of community, you have done superb, okay, so this will help me customize the course more for you. Um, quickly tell me, is there somebody who doesn't know who I am, comment in N in the chat box if you don't know who we are, who I am, sorry, Niranjan is not here today, I am just in a habit of having him here. How many of you don't know who I am? I hope everybody knows who I am. Okay, Fatima doesn't know this. Okay, that's because you recently joined in. I am Sanchari. So I will be your coach. I will be your mentor and I will be your best friend over the next seven days when I will be taking you through this course of sketch noting. So some of you have joined for the first time. No worries. I will take you quickly through the world of sketch noting and then we will start drawing because I am very, very excited to start doing it. So quickly in the chat box, tell me if you have a goal in mind that with sketch noting, I will make better homework, you know, or I want to take a project of illustrating my travel journey. What is it that you are wanting to do with this skill? And you can do absolutely everything. I will be taking you exactly to that journey, but I want to see with your also, how clear are you with the concept, how open are you with it. For example, Nirvan here is a learning sketch noting so he can make better comics. Priyansh is going to make his classmates jealous with how beautiful his notes are. JC probably wants this to make his YouTube channel better. So what is that goal you want to do with this? Dhara might be illustrating more songs here. Nandini has joined. She has already been using this in our, in our uh, session. So this will take one step ahead. Lot of platinum members are also here. Huri, you have joined from Leh. Wow. I thought you would be on travel and you will not be joining. Wow. So I see a lot of regular platinum members I, also. Your invitation. Your invitation was tempting me. Oh, nice. <laughs> and today I had like a... Crazy, crazy day today in Leh. The electricity was off for quite a few hours. So I was rushing in the market and uh, taking lifts from random strangers, getting here and there and trying to figure it out. I had to cancel all my second half sessions. Mendy dry. So said, You'll be able to draw. Is your Mendy dry? Yeah, yeah, it's dry. <laughs> I took it, did it yesterday in the market. <laughs> Super. I wanted to do I'm excited. Priya has also come in rainbow avatar today. All colorful and all lovely. Chalo, chalo. Let's start now. All of you have settled in. So as you know, there are not many rules in this workshop. There are three rules. First is turn on your cameras. I don't want you to be sleeping on bed and taking it. I want to see all of your expressions when your jaws drop and you are like, wow, I did this. So all of you, I want of you to turn on your cameras. And yes. And second is most of you know this. Let me have a revision have a glass of water ready because you need hydration for this and the third important rule is have fun this is not a serious drawing class this is not an uh, you know a school lesson that you are learning this is just to have fun if you are not having fun then you are not doing it correctly and there is a fourth additional rule if it is too complex you are doing it wrong because everything here has to be absolutely simple it has to be something that this is uh, takes you back to your childhood. Some of you are already children. The ones who are not, please go call your, you know, go into it, call your inner child and bring it out because we are going to doodle like we used to when in class third, second, at the back of our notebooks. That is what is going to happen today. 
So a very warm welcome to Sketch Noting. I am Sanchari, and this is Niranjan. Niranjan is taking another class in there. So today, this is exactly what we will be creating. So we will be creating something like this to help you explore yourself better. I will be helping you illustrate something like this. The one major rule of this is you have to put in wow moments. So every time something you draw or something you feel is wow, you have to tell me in the chat box. Okay. Stay focused. That means put your phones away. I don't want you to check your email, social media. I don't want you to reply to WhatsApp. Focus on this because in this one hour, I have to change your mindset. All this time we have been taught to take notes using text. I have to change that exact mindset. Uh, then you have to engage, which means, you know, tell us what is happening in the chat box. If I drop a poll, reply to it. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down when you don't understand. It has to be very engaging. Full attention. So I will give full attention to you. You will give full attention to me. That is the agreement of this workshop. Because lot of words and all we will be, I will be explaining to you and bringing to you a concept. Okay. So I told you before this started when I showed my notes to Jai Shetty and she was very happy. Then also Nandini in the group said she has been using this. So I thought let's make this for, let's make this into a full fledged course. So what is sketch noting? Usually we are always given text like this. We are used to reading books. We are used to doing this. But quickly tell me, do you remember movies more or do you remember books more? We remember movies and comics more because they are visual. And that is exactly what we will be doing today. We will be using notes and visual to make beautiful notes. So for example, a big heavy text, something like this. This is something we will be doing tomorrow, how to simplify notes. We will convert them into an illustration like, one second. Oh, one second, like this. So I will be using this. So as you can see, you don't even need colors. You will need black and you will just need a black pencil, a black pen or even a pencil will do normal pencil. Tomorrow, I want you to get one color something because you can see shadows and highlights. So it could be a color pencil. It could be a crayon, a highlighter. Any one color will do. Like I said, the, comic, uh, the entire premise of this is it has to be very easy. So like I said, a picture speaks a thousand words, so you can use it to illustrate absolutely all thoughts. After this one week of sessions, I hope some of your notes will look like this. We will not do this practice exercise today, but we'll do it tomorrow. You can use it to make your ideas. You can use it to do process documentation, some steps that you want to learn, travel experiences, something like this. We will be doing it today. This is from my diary itself. When I went to Bangalore and I met all of them, we, I could illustrate my notes using this. You can use it to illustrate your movies, your books. Some of you have joined to write your own comic books. Using this, you'll be able to illustrate your stories better. For some of you, this is a mental health course where you'll be learning how to tap your emotions, how to write better. We will be doing a little bit of this today as well. Meetings and conferences. This is part of tomorrow's syllabus. So this is all examples and samples of what you can do. There are different styles, which of course you will be learning gradually. Some of you might want to do very complex ones. Some of you might do with easy, just one color. Some of you will do very minimal ones. Some of you will do uh, on pure digital art. So it doesn't matter what medium you use, what colors you use, the concept should be, it should be easy. It should be simple and everybody should be able to understand. So there are a lot of fundamentals of this, which we will be covering in these next six days. It looks like a lot. You might be thinking, Are, whether I'll be able to do this, whether I'll be able to do or not. But we will be able to do this. So today is day one and I am super excited to start this. Wow. So have a glass of water because after this, we are not stopping. We are drawing continuously. So grab a glass of water and we are ready to start. Difference between one minute. Okay. So doodling you do a very nice question. Doodling you do mostly for art purposes. When you, it's very similar, but when you are doing it just for art, when you are doing it just for passion, that is doodling. But when you are covering a concept, for example, 
uh, if I'm just sitting getting bored and drawing mountains, that is doodling. But if I'm going on a trip, for example, Huri has gone to Leh and she's covering her journey using mountains and showing that, that becomes sketch noting. So sketch noting is an advanced form of doodling in which you also share your experience, you build memories. Uh, doodling is more of a stress relieving mechanism. Sketch noting helps you build your focus. It helps you build your memory and of course it improves your thinking process. How? We will see in this next uh, few minutes. So like I said, you have to become a child because a big part of this is going back to your creativity, going back to all the fun things that you have to do. Okay, I'll show you a quick example why I keep saying you have to go back to your childhood. Give me one second. Ankita, you got the concept. Otherwise, you'll go, uh, get it gradually in the class. So as you can see, I have been practicing a lot for this class itself. Every morning I wake up, I take notes. I have been practicing and that's why my notes have achieved this kind of level. You practice, you will also be able to take fast, fast notes. This one, I now could do it in 12 minutes. Okay, this I can do it in 12 minutes. So you will soon be able to do this also in such quick, quick minutes. Okay, let's start. So first we will do a little warm up like you know every exercise has some warm up and we will start with a little warm up. So, one minute. so I will recommend that all of you get a new notebook, a large big notebook because you will be requiring a large part of this in this class. You will be making a lot of doodles, you will be drawing a lot. So get a new notebook. Priyan share his mother has already got him a dotted notebook. Dotted is, dotted is best because it will help you illustrate better. For example, I too will use a scale like this to get it. So when you have a scale with you, it becomes easier to understand to get in there. Okay. I am using a black pen. If you have a black pen, use black pen or anything general will say. Okay. So let's start with our first exercise here. Before we get into sketch noting, I want you to get into this. Plain pages is also fine. No worries. Okay. So, what is the expression of this cloud? What do you think this cloud is saying? Expression feels like to you. Is he happy? Disgusted. Disgusted and it's crazy, right? It looks weird. Yeah. Okay. It's acting silly. So, what is pouring out of this silly cloud? And no right answers. I don't want to say rain. I don't want to. What is the most uncommon thing that you can imagine pouring out of this? Me for help. Okay, good. What else? Poison. Poison. Oh my God. Pouring out of this. Quick answers. I don't want you to think out of the box. What is the most tacos? Wow, Fatima, good idea. Tacos. What else do you think can come out of this cloud? Frogs. Yes. Angels. Wow. Angels is a very candies. Candies. Okay. What else? Stars. Hammer. Oh my God. Karamjeet is saying hammer and all. <laughs> Stars? Stars is okay. Probably think crazy things. Think of it and make it on the sour candies. Wow, nice. What else? Poison. Sanjari, it's saying cactus. Cactus. Oh my god. Who do you who do you want to hurt? All Karamjeet and you. Do you both want to hurt people? Cactus and all you are dropping? Blood. Poison. Rajnikanth. Oh my god, Rajnikanth is falling through. There is only one Rajnikanth. He can't fall yeah. flowers. <laughs> Superb. Okay, so think of the most weirdest things you can and draw it. That is how you start with. Don't look at nearby objects and say, think of the most nonsensical thing. It doesn't have to have logic. Superb. <laughs> Good ideas are coming from you. Let's do another right. Let's try another one. So, 
look at this yeah please keep yourself on mute so these two children are floating in the air okay they ate some very good ice cream and they are floating in the air now but they now want to come down suggest to me an innovative way where they can fall down or the easiest way will be you will say is trampoline let's put a trampoline for them but trampoline is very easy i want you to think of some complex things i want you to think of some weird ideas to break their fall and um, i'll throw them a pipe i'll throw them a pipe and then a bag put in their mouth and then we'll suck all the air out wow a bag nice try illustrating it for me it's a big bear cup eight and it falls on the bear and it can enjoy pool pool if they fall into they might uh, hurt themselves something more softer thing like marshmallows a bed bed marshmallows marshmallow wow what a good idea then they can camp also flower bed yes what else on the on the straw some the dry straw straw or bees or bees laptop laptop <laughs> they fall into ayyo or bees or bees good to small small balls Think of more crazy. I can think For, of a forest, a forest canopy. What if is yeah. there is a big snake? Popcorn. Whirlpool. Somebody said popcorn. I love the idea of popcorn. See a big tub of popcorn. Nobody suggested. Their parents. Rainbow. 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 Okay. What if there is a big cotton kid? candy? Yeah. Cotton candy. Yes. Cotton. What curtain? Curtain. Clouds. Clouds. Yes, from the cloud itself. This cloud itself, maybe. So draw on your notebooks the most weirdest thing, and of course you know there is no right answer to this. There is all the answers are correct. So think of what will you use for this? Their parents. Oh, you want them to fall on their parents? Ah, your parents will get hurt. No, no. Think of something softer. A pool of ice cream. Nice ice cream, yes. Ice cream tower, a gigantic pillow. Superb. Now. Ice cream tower. Ice cream tower will hurt them. The poke, it will poke it. Imagine if the ice cream tower is here, it will poke it. It will poke them. No, 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 no. So, anyways, no right answers. You have to do these exercises with me as well. Draw them and try to figure out what to do. Okay. We'll do one more. to warm you more up tell me one thing i make a person here and i told you it has to be very simple if the person is looking tough if it's complex it is not a person okay so this is one person how do i make it into a thief what does a thief what is a special in a thief how is that a bag a mask idea a bag A black, a black bag full of gold. Black, a black and white um suit. Having a bag full of gold. Pirate eye or a mask, gun. Gun will make it a dacoit. Disguise. Disguise. What about this? Kidnapping. Kidnapping. Yes. A black and white. A mustache. Does he look like a thief now? Let's make him yes. into a further thief. Because some of you thought he's too. A mustache. Mustache thief. Okay. Movie may we have that black dot at the side of the mustache? Yeah, the mole. The, the mole on the yeah, face. Yeah, the mole. Okay. So now tell me, what has this thief stolen? Something Money. So dollars. You can put dollars on that. Money. Gold. Gold. Anybody can see. A person who was sleeping Gold on a bed. One of the Dalmatians. A person sleeping on a bed. Candy. Star. Candy. A person sleeping on a bed. You put the bed also. You. You. Dalmatian Dalmatians. Ah, Gold and diamonds. Dalmatians. Wow, what a nice idea. Gold and diamonds. Treasure machine. You. An elephant. Elephant. Star. Treasure machine. Yes, Red machine is a good answer. See, crazy things you have to think of. Don't think of what is or not. I already put it. Car. Car. He stole all of us. 
we are also there in the sack along with them पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ इम्पॉसिबल डोंट थिंक ऑफ वॉट कैन बी डन थिंक ऑफ वॉट कांट बी डन मे बी इट स्टोल ट्राइज द रिडीमर and took it from them if there are movies in which people steal buildings no it stole the building it stole mona lisa maybe hmm stole the famous painting of mona lisa he stole the one neutron star super yes ocean blue diamond no that is always stole the harry potter wow maybe yes maybe it stole the harry potter uh, uh, deathly hallows it stole He stole all the worries of the world. People will be giving him an award if he steals. That's beautiful. Maybe he stole all the two thousand notes from the world because now they are banned. Now what will he do with them? I like something. Oh, uh, uh, the worries of the uh, world. He stole all the worries of the world. Is what somebody had mentioned. It's so beautiful. Worries of the world. See, that is why I was more worried about the adults. Kids can think of as much as it because nobody has told them what to draw. They are. He can he can stole France because it is smaller than mm. Italy. Super. So I'll give you one example. When I said you have to be a child here, there's a very famous book, and I recommend all of you to read it. It's called The Little Prince. Some of you might have read it. So in The Little Prince, there's this small little boy who this man meets, and this little boy asks this man to draw a sheep. So he draws a sheep like this, like ordinary us would do. but the boy is not happy then he draws another sheep this also he says is not happy then this boy then this man draws a box and then he says yes this is the sheep i wanted why because the sheep is in the box absolutely so whenever someone says that this is how it is supposed to be represented think of the different ways it can be represented don't just think oh i want to represent it at using this only so today in this class and in the next week i want all of you to come out of these comfort boxes come out of these comfort zones and think crazily maybe in school maybe in class you get scolded for thinking creatively but here you can be whoever you want to you can draw whatever it comes to your mind okay but at the same time it should be recognizable to people let me give you one quick example let us draw a tv okay when i say the word tv how many of you thought of something like this okay but tvs don't look like this now tvs are mostly like this no antenna but yet we remember the antenna one because that is the most remarkable thing from our childhood and the same thing comes from us we what we uh, make in our childhood we remember some of you have not even seen this kind of tv but we have seen tvs like this only so that is why we have to go to childhood and look for symbols look for things that make sense to us okay so let's start let's start okay so let me give you a quick example let us look at this word impact everybody knows what impact means impact means uh when something hits something how much uh if how much reaction has happened or when somebody talks to you what is the result that has happened to you impact is essentially what what the effect of somebody has been how will you draw impact what this word comes to you i will draw what i'll draw two bananas fighting with each other i'll i will put i'll be drawing earth getting hit by a meteor Super, very good idea. That was Shitej Nirvan, right? No, Shitej. Shitej, very good. So, like an in, And if we think of impact, we think of an asteroid hitting it. We can or a hammer, And or a hammer, a egg being hit by Super a hammer. Nova. Supernova. Yes, a hammer. So, for adults here, yeah, you have to show impact of a particular plan in your company. 
if you have to show a word that this particular thing will have a heavy impact in the industry maybe you are making an impact of ai mm -hmm. this is how you can make an impact otherwise the symbol for this is okay this shows impact one way to show impact is also a boxing I want to tell one thing I can draw. I can draw a character on horse which actually has a smiley face. Super. That you can do. But here we have to make simple things. And by the way, danger sign will be like morning would be this. So this is one of the ways you can do drawing. Make it as simple as you can. Because imagine if you are taking notes in class and you have to draw alien Mars, it will be difficult. So use things that are most commonly drawn and you can do this. For example, let us take another simple boost. Not the drink boost, not the secret of my energy, secret of my energy as all of you. A person running fast. Lightning. Superb, lightning. A what person running fast. So how do we make a running person? Person is here behind three lines boost can we make it using a rocket is running. Yes. Rocket is boosted. so for adults again boost boost sales sales have been boosted by six times here sales have been boosted by this here through muscles maybe through muscles yes simple is this arrow only but you can show it through muscles so as you can see, the drawing doesn't have to be very perfect. It just has to be sensible enough to understand people what it is. One more, let's do escape. A door. A door, yes. A escape room. Key, simple key. A road. A road, a path. Window. A lock. A window. Legs running no, away. No. Legs no. with arrows. Yes, legs running away. No. I hope you all are drawing all of this with A me. horror game. Yes. Broken lock, yes. So a lock. With a key. A rope hanging from a house. Superb, yes. Okay. Now let us look at some expressions. Okay, how will you draw the emotion of shy? Eyes covered. So we make a simple. Eyes covered. Yes, eyes covered. Um, blush. A face. A face covered with cotton. Yes, a face covered by a. See a paper bag. Hey Nirvan, see I drew you. Now you can draw yourself also. So nobody has to be shy in this class, okay? You have to be make them happy and this participative in this. Okay? How will you draw BFF? Heart. Like two girls and a heart in the middle, or like two boys. So you can do Say two people and a heart in between. Hug. Okay. Easier. We have to think of easier ways to do it. Hmm. Does this show BFF that necklace? Hands yes. locked, hugs? Yes. You can be a little more creative and draw these avocados also. See, there is no way. This is all about hmm. your understanding. So two avocados being best friends. I am sure this is a wow moment for most of you. Come on, give me why. Give me a wow if you found it wow. So much things are happening now. Let's try one more word and then we'll get into this. Curious. Cap. Concealed boxes. Yes. Maybe a box and... A, a box with a question mark on it. 
Yes. Are you seeing this, Kadals? How are kids thinking? I want you to think in this. That's why I made this class with kids and this so that you also um, start thinking. Curious I about a suitcase with top secret written on it. I'm randomly thinking mm. dead okay. cat. But, okay, like, a, like scratching, scratching head as well. Scratching head, yes. So, dead cat. Mm. A cat staring. Cat staring. A dog digging the floor. Mm -hmm. Curious, yes. Or it could also be a search button. Like yeah. a search. So I, if any one of these drawings complex, they are only made with simple lines. And that is what I've been trying to tell you with this. It has to be very simple, nothing complex. Try to get in as much simplicity to do it because when you see how quickly I have to do this. So on the go, when you are doing this, you have to take this all up to uh, very quickly and simply. Okay. So let's start with the exercise of banners. Most of you have already become expert at making banners. So let's practice a few one because first part of visual language is being able to make containers. Make containers. So I am muting all of you for a while because now we'll be just drawing and if you have questions, you raise your hand or ask me the question in the chat box. I let you talk. No worries, but I'm muting you so that there is no. Okay. So simple containers are square. One thing again. So you are used to making squares like this, okay? If you simply curve the edges, they become a new shape, okay? Then circle, common shapes only, line. I will be using absolutely simple shapes in this class to do it because we don't use complex shapes at all. So let's start with our first exercise. We make a rectangle. Is there anybody who can't make a rectangle here? And, you, and please be honest. I think Priyansh doesn't know how to make a rectangle. You don't know, na, Priyansh, how to make a rectangle? I actually know it. So make a rectangle. Then take out. Okay, so one, two, three, four. This will take practice for some of you. So if you are making it for the first time, practice this shape. Okay, for the ones who have advanced with me, who have already made a lot of banners, I have a complex one for you. Two overlapping rectangles. These are called ribbons. We usually make them in presentations, but now you are getting to make them in life. So there is no limit to this, how expansive you make, how this, but they make your notes look very beautiful. Okay. If you are still a little more advanced, you can make it with curves. Since you will have this sheet in a recording with you, you can all practice. So this is beginner, this is intermediate, this is advanced. You can choose your level and start practicing. If you are at a beginner, start practicing this. If you are intermediate, if you are advanced, do this. If you curve them, they become a little more prettier. Does this not remind you of the Harry Potter Marauders map where they could draw where they had these symbols and all of this? Yes. And this looks 3D, right? To everybody this looks 3D? So if you have a different color, like I said that you can carry your own colors here, you can add a different color in this shadow to do this. This went a little out. So for example, you want to use uh, pink. So you can use pink to shade all of this. And that becomes your theme. So my notes are usually in one theme. Oh, nice Maria. Okay, more advanced you want to get. 
and i will be sharing the exercise sheet on this so don't worry if you are like i'm not able to catch up i'm not able to draw i will be giving you many examples to practice this from i hope all of you are part of a whatsapp group if you are not just drop me a message i will be getting your whatsapp mail i'll be doing it okay so this now even in simple boxes you can decorate them using these just dotted lines and it changes this entire concept ananya you are not part of any whatsapp group okay i'll share the link with you in this i must have dropped a message please check your messages okay so this we will learn gradually i'm just showing you because most of you have drawn with niranjan and you know the concept of shadows either the platinum group or the sketch note group some group you have to be just so that i can drop the messages okay so when you get a crayon tomorrow we will also learn how to highlight and color wow moment for you just with one shade all of this has become 3d so some of you are learning advanced classes with niranjan you are attending so this will come out to be very simple for you you'll be able to do this okay let's practice some more fancy banners because these will be very useful even if you are not sketch noting anything else you can just use these banners to make your notes look very beautiful in front of your notebooks in front of this you can start your notes with this so let's start with a rectangle okay behind the rectangle another rectangle okay then you shade this And then add a small dot to it. What does this look like? It looks like a clipboard. It looks like a notary pin dot. This you can use to write, say, supposedly the date. Hypothetically, I'm telling you, okay? Or you can use it to write your name, the subject of it. For example, I want to write the subject that I am work today writing on. So I'll make a rectangle. small arrow in the next rectangle okay so your notes will look infinitely beautiful if you are a more creative person if you are a more innovative person you can make this even more prettier make a leaf then a box dama kadana sorry please please oh sorry no worries no worries okay for example you want to show homework so maybe it is your science homework there was no space for nnc but you understood you can make it in banners like this just look how beautiful all your projects and all of this can be with just simple touches nothing complex in this some of you might still be like yo this is very hard this is very tough but with practice you will get there one of my favorite is i'll show you the ones which i use a lot in my note one rectangle can you please wait yeah sure catch up another rectangle inverted sixes so not inverted sixes so can you imagine shitij nirwan with your comic books and all now you can represent so many different types of text and font using this not just illustrate your story in one way so many ways you can put it into this
if this is all looking very complex with you don't worry just make a simple rectangle and you can just add a something like this to this okay simple if this is coming out too complex you can use simple shapes like this okay doesn't have to be very complex just has to be understandable so this is whatever pace you are at don't worry it will come with practice just this using some dots makes a beautiful header too okay so i will don't worry i will be giving you a lot of practice exercises like this so your summer vacations in your classes all of this you can do it in your free time superb so i told you we will be making something like you it is going to be about me so if i ask in school okay. when you were asked to write about me yeah chat hota hu कुछ नहीं कीप योर सेल्फ ऑन म्यूट क्षितिज आई अदरवाइज विल हियर ऑल योर मम्मी एंड योर गॉसिप अबाउट मी ओके सो अबाउट मी यू विल राइट माय एज इज दिस माय हॉबीज आर दीस आई लिव विद माय मॉम डैड आई लिव इन दिल्ली वेयर एवर इट इज दिस इज टिपिकली द सीवी दैट एडल्ट्स हैंड हैंड ओवर दिस इज माय हॉबी दिस इज दिस this is my skills you will write like this today we will find a way to make this in the most attractive way possible in creative way okay so like i said it is supposed to be simple so first let's start with a banner rectangle then one shape like this one shape like this make small triangles now on this and you have to observe this okay first we'll make an opposite u ulta u like a sad face you make okay then on top of it a circle okay two hands now this is you this doesn't look like you of course but this looks like jc though it will look like jc but we have to make in some uh, uh, added effects to make it look like you for example if i have to make me what will i do i will add a flower simple and i'll add some here this is not realistic drawing like i said it has to be very fun in kids you have to make it as jokingly okay otherwise if you are a boy if you want to show that you can put a hat okay so think of what are the features you can do if you would have drawn your mummy how would you have made mummy or dadi you would have made this if you wanted to make your dadi Maybe specs, okay. So I'll make someone, and all of you will have to tell me who is this person. Who is this? Gandhi ji. Who is this? Gandhi ji. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Smart Harry Potter. Potter. Simple, simple features you have to change, and you can build anyone. okay so today i won't be teaching you expressions they will be taught in later classes so you make simply two eyes and a smile you add in whatever features you want to add into this to make it look like you maybe you could add a specs a hairstyle a cup maybe you could add in a tie maybe if you are feeling very crazy today that no no my identity is of a Raw Niranjan would have made. Uh huh. See, this is Niranjan. So any small changes you make, it just has to reflect that person. Okay. Now some of you might be like, there is no distinctive feature only in it. So then you can ask, give it things. For example, if you are a person who always has a dog in hand, so you can make a small dog here. Doesn't have to be detailed. 
a dog like this maybe you always have a pencil in hand big pencil in hand maybe you are always eating pizza a big box of pizza okay think of what other things so you have to basically customize this this is also called an avatar when you play in games etc you have it so you can make your own version of this and all of you have to do this because i will be giving you homework i will be checking all of this okay i like having deathly hallow i am always a harry potter fan so i have a deathly hallow thing a wand older wand yes So this looks like a stick. Fantastic pose. Sure, why not? Put your favorite superhero. Maybe you want to give yourself a cape also. Pencil and eraser and paper spraying all around me. How to draw a cat? Cat. Simple cat. If you have to make one, two, legs. You can tell it's a cat. By just adding these whiskers, simple. We are making simplest drawings. You don't have to be an expert. Okay, so this is a how to draw thing. dog. Same, this, this, four legs. Yes. You can put a chain like a dog here. How we can make hands? Of a person, hands, hands. We don't make because we have to keep it very simple. No hands, never hands. We just have to keep them like sticks. Whatever you want to put, you can put here. For example, you want to put a bag here. You put a bag on this. Hands, feet. These people are aliens. They don't have hands or feet. They are from some other multiverse. So here you write your name. We are ready to go. Okay. I'm in love with this app. It is the Procreate app in digital uh, in iPad, but you get a lot of free apps. This is a paid app. You can get a lot of free apps as well. In Android also, we would be having something like this. This is only in iPad. Android me there are apps called SketchUp. There is Paint. Just look for it. Lot of there are there on phones also. Some people draw. Edge book. There is no Noteful in iPad, which is free, and it has uh, plain pages, these pages, all kinds of. So in Android there is um sketchbook which is free and it's yeah. good. But I would recommend please start on drawing well drawing and well. then move because you will otherwise spend a lot of time in the technicality of this. When you are yeah. done with the uh, how to do it, then you can start doing it. Okay. When you think of birthday, what do you think of? Cake. <coughs> Cake. Gifts. Balloons. Gifts. Birthday hats. Candle. Yeah. Candle, gifts, candle, 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 presents, lots of gifts, cards, <coughs> petals, candle, friends, guest, 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 cake and balloons are the most. My birthday there were no guests. Yes. I like to celebrate my birthday on my own. You can make cake. You can make balloons. Yes. What? So How about banners? Banners? Banner? Yeah. Banner, party hats. For each one of you, this should be different. I am not asking you to go with what I am drawing. Pizza, whatever this is for you, birthday it should be. Pizza is not a universal birthday thing. My birthday, there used to be those uh, salted chips, okay. one piece of uh, cake, two parleji kismi biscuits, uh, kismi toffee, and a fruity, <laughs> and a fruity. Okay, whatever you think of it, maybe a cake. Yada. Okay, if nothing of this does, you can also make a baby. Why am I competing with the children over here? <laughs> this is good. I want you all to become, and you will not win. But I want all yeah, of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So the bar. Let's make a. I am the using the Barbie doll cake. cake. Yeah. I didn't have all these fancy Barbie doll cakes and all. I will make normal cake only so that everybody <laughs> understands. Like I said, it has to be simple. So you make a symbol for this, add a small banner, and write your birth date. Did I have to write I was born on this? No. So you simply can write here your birth date. Okay. 
¿Qué? How will you show blood? By a man who is bleeding. Oh, how will you show a man bleeding? That will be so uh, difficult to make. September born. Uh, we can show the blood by a droplet and coloring with red, basically. So that's yes. uh, that is going to be a very easy step. Yes, red. Knife. You don't have knife. red color. Knife covered with blood. Yeah. And a knife covered with blood. What if you don't have a blood red? No, if you don't have the red color with you, how will you show? We can show the green color blood. We don't have color only. Yes, a drip. So. How will you make a drip plus sign? A bottle, huh? This could be a urine sample also, but universally it's accepted. This is blood only. Okay. Like on the finger, a drip is coming. A drip sure. Of yes. Make it. I am telling you, whatever is your idea that is coming, you How draw. To How to draw a drop? Drop. Simple. I'm not getting it exactly. Yeah. One, two, three. Doctor doing a blood test. That will be so tough to draw. You are a doctor. Then you'll have to make it something quick. Okay, so blood. The simplest blood also you can make is make a drop. And make a plus sign on it. You have to make things that are universal, recognizable also. If I show somebody, they'll get it. So you write your blood group here okay now if i were to talk about your about me what else would you write you would make your hobbies so what can your hobbies be it could be football okay basketball you, it might be gardening so gardening how you'll represent a plant and next to it yes a rake Okay. What other hobbies do you have? You might have a hobby of drawing. Guitar. Guitar. Collecting stars. A musical instrument. Dancing. What will you show for singing? A note. We can show, show a mic. And comment. Mic and a note. Mic with musical yes. notes coming from it. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you so much. What would I do without these kids? So you can make simple, simple, simple. coming out of this. Sare gama pa. This looks like sadhana now a little bit. So musical, if you want to make, you can do this. Similarly, if your hobby is playing badminton, so you can make a badminton racket here. How to draw like dancing? Uh, dancing, the... very good idea. How will you make? Tell me, what do you show for dancing? We can show a stick man figure with his hands up and down. Yes, what else? An upside down person. So you make this person. It's an O positive. Blood. And make Blood it donut. dancing. I like to move it. Universal donut. Mute, mute, mute. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I have heard such personal conversations. I don't want to hear this. Okay. Maybe like for example, Karamjeet is to write letters. So you can write a letter plus a pen. Okay. Some of you will be like my hobby is Netflix. Boy, so boy. TV. Netflix. Okay, cooking. Cooking is also simple. Just draw a spoon. No, cooking will, if I make spoon and fork, it will show eating, which is also some, in some people's hobbies. Eating. A pan with fire, like on a stove. So you can make a pan with some fire and a kadai. Okay. Journaling or zen Collecting, how to show collecting stamps. So journaling, okay. Make one rectangle. Make small commas with this. Art and craft. And one pen. Okay, so this is again, and I'm giving this you as a homework. Okay, I'm just introducing you. Yoga. 
Yoga is simple. You draw any pose. I will show you. Yoga too is very simple. I made it on mine also. How will you show yoga? Please keep yourself on mute, guys. Please. I will otherwise have to unmute this whole class. Yoga. If you want to show um, me. Art and craft. How will we draw art and craft? Tell me. Paintbrush and pencil. Paper and paper. Paintbrush. Paper and this is scissors. Scissors and paper. Mm -hmm. Paintbrush and pencil. A palette. A color palette. Color palette. How to show doodling? Yes. We'll tell you that it's a doodling. The place could be Udaya, sir. Okay, so I'm putting all of you on mute. I said that. If anybody doesn't put it, I will put. So now you will not be able to unmute yourself. Okay. So this is how you can make it. So you will have to make your hobbies. Okay. Today is the first class. It will go a little longer because I have concepts to tell you. Then what else will you add into it? You will add your achievements. How do you make achievement? You make achievement with a trophy. Medal, yes, you can also use a medal to show achievement or you can even show this. One, two, three, simple. And then simply you add these banners and add into them. What are your achievements? Maybe you can draw your achievements also. Sit man with a trophy in this hand. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. So this is how you can make your trophies, how you can show your achievement. Now you can also draw your achievement instead of just writing that my achievement is this what I have made or my achievement is this. Let's draw. Quickly someone unmute and tell me what is their one big achievement they are very proud of. Public our, our participation. Participation. In running. Running. International art competition. Okay. One example. More participation. Super. So let me take you Daniel. example of one Karamjit. Okay, he wrote 800 letters. So a letter into 800 sent to the world. Okay, and you can add in some arrows to send the letter being sent to 800 people in there. Okay. For example, you participated in an international competition. So one globe, one pencil to show it's an art competition. And then if you participated in it, a certificate and your name in it. For example, Priyansh. Can you look at this and say it was a global art competition and I participated in it. If you came first in it, I want some achievements from adults, guys. Adults don't have achievements. Yeah, Sanchari, art my competition, school football competition. Oh, it's okay. I thought it was not my uh, international competition. I enrolled in playing badminton at the age of 37. Badminton, okay. Chess tournament. So this though you can show here only if you are so proud of this, you can add a trophy here. And out of this, a badminton trophy from this. And how do we draw a chess board? You tell me what I is mean. the way to draw a chess board. I Might be a square with the black is yes, but then white on white. A form. square with black and uh, black, uh, black and white squares. Like a rectangle with black and white squares. Uh, a square with smaller black and white squares. Simplest way, and you don't even have to fill the squares. Just filling it, it will automatically tell that you have won a chess. So add a trophy to this chess championship. 
have to draw a mathematical international competition. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, and here you can write a lot of numbers: two, three, four, five, six. Maybe some symbols. All of that you can draw. Or fashion designing. If I've got to show, it will be like with a sewing machine. Fashion. Sorry, what was your achievement? Tell me the achievement. Fashion, achieve. fashion designing. What? That is a skill, right? Achievement. Yeah. What is the achievement? Uh. You learned it. No, if you got to express that. What do you want to express? Your skill like is become, a, become the best fashion designer in India. Okay, nice. How, who will tell me how will you draw this? I want to hear ideas. A uh, draw Indian. Draw, so you right. can draw a man holding cloth. Okay, good. What scissors. else? This is why I got the kids. They will come up with better ideas. Than Sewing machine. Sewing machine. Okay. What else? Keep going. So, uh, machine, number one. Person wearing a measuring tape and holding a scissor. That could be a tailor also, na? No? Oh, wow. uh, a ramp walk. Standing in front of a mannequin. Yes, exactly. A mannequin. But how will you draw a mannequin? These people also. This only looks like a mannequin. How will you draw a mannequin next to it? It will just look like you're drawing a thin, a thin person. Ramp walk. With yes. models on it. So yes. So how will you make a ramp? Perspective and all. You little bit know. It's a little tough to do this, but we will make this. So fashion show could be represented like this or if you want to make it a little more detailed. Mannequin shoe and a, a lady shoe and a scissor. She has got this. You can do this with a... Again, I am just giving... Sessions you can make as many different, it might mean something different to you. For me, heels and wearing a sash and walking on a ramp is the idea of a fashion model, whatever it is to you. There should only be a rule. Please mute, guys. If you are, make it a rule that uh, you will not, if you were in a real class, would you be talking like this? So don't keep this on mute, okay? Another way to do fashion. So, it is up to your division, but there is one rule. At least 10 people should understand it. So if you are sure, not sure whether somebody would get it, ask 10 people. If 10 people understand it, that's fine. So for example, one minute. This people might not look like specs. But this is definitely specs. So it is all about how if 10 people can get it, it's enough. Okay. So we have covered your skills and achievements. These are all your homeworks. You have to do them. I'm just teaching you a pathway. I am like in schools, they do not teach, just teach you 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 8. And then later home, you have to go and do 8 plus 8. It's similar here. What else? What are your achievements? Kids are having so many achievements, adults are not having anything. Public International competition uh, champion trophy. Competition. What? International uh, competition trophy. I told you that international will be world. Then make a trophy. Publish poetry book. So publish poetry book if it is there, then that's a pretty big detail you might want to include here only. One FE gold for a campaign. Uh, One gold for a campaign. FE gold, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I will start taking out names. Shweta, this is the third time you are not unmuting yourself. Please keep yourself on mute. Extremely sorry, extremely sorry, my child. Please keep yourself on mute, okay? One, okay? So one may you can put your branding competition or whatever it is. Whatever you want it for, you can as a brand campaign. 
I will show you my CVs etc. later where you will learn how to do this. Swimming competition is very easy. Of course, it's like you can add a little text also. It doesn't have to be only this. So, at age 37, won the international award. Okay. So, mm -hmm. your first homework of the day is you have to complete your about me. I will tell you where to get icons, where to do it. All of this I'll show you. Second, what we will do is the second exercise that we are drawing right now. And this is your second homework. I'll tell you what we have to do. So this is called the goal mapping. Last time we used it to illustrate our achievements. Now we will use it to get our goals. Okay. How can we make our goal? One way of goal is of course showing a football player. What I am going to show you today is one way you have to come up with more attractive way. Imagine you are on a boat. You are rowing towards your goal where there is a treasure chest kept. So all of us have a uniform picture of a treasure chest. It is that curved box and that uh, gold's made out of it, right? So we will make a treasure chest out of this same one box. One heavy lock on this. This is your goal. Okay. Now while you are swimming in this water, what happens is sharks come in. These sharks are your obstacles. Okay. So all of you who are into business, who are learning about entrepreneur, who are learning to get this in your companies, you can illustrate this. So uh, remember Gayatri were telling me you want to make an investor pitch. You can say for example, your goal sales target for this year is 50,000. This you are going towards it and sharks are the obstacles that might happen. So you can draw, write your obstacles here. This boat are your greatest strength or your USP which you will use to do this. How many of you think it's a great way to represent an entire goal rather than writing a paragraph? I want to achieve this in this year. Of course, you'll have to write here. My goal is to earn say 10k in two months. My obstacles are swiggy, shopping, my strength and USP is that I have a job. But this is such an easy way to show in quickly. If you are showing, if you are, if you are showing a PPT in school, you are showing somewhere, you will give them this boring one. Rather than this, you can draw just a whole person going towards this. Okay. I'm sharing with you more copies. Don't worry. This is one way to show this. Today is a very basic class. It's day one. Now I can't teach you everything. But I can teach you to think. Today I am teaching you to think. Another way is you make a road, curvy, curvy road. On this road, one flag, one flag, so start. So for example, your journey is to make a comic book by the end of this year. So you can make start, end. What are the different benchmarks you will set for yourself? For example, first maybe set up characters. Draw daily for one hour. And we are going to the mountain summit. Good idea Divya. 
or you can you matlab whatever your goals are however you are going to get it you want to draw priyansh what is your goal tell me i will give you the next one i will make for you what is your goal to become a space scientist okay how will you make it what are the steps to learn about space and learn about uh, physics to study about more study about this to read about it right so you will make all these benchmarks here what can be the obstacles the obstacles can be when i when i will be at the age uh, when i will have to know how how to launch a rocket I, uh, the obstacle will be obstacles can be you watch too many cartoons and you forget about studying yes right no the other obstacle <laughs> can be how much how much stress it has to be I, that can be the obstacle I, and then i have to learn nice so that can be so all of these adults and all you will know how to make this so obstacles this is your vision this is your going your goal is here you can make your sharks here if you are in investment there will be literally sharks here you can put in okay then another way is to make a goal map like this the third way which somebody said is a mountain summit idea so summit you can of course make like this it will be easier very easy to make a peak we used to do this art manifestation in class also it's one of my favorites you can put it on this obstacle can be you falling here and doing it but i'm going to show you a better way to draw this and since some of you are already learning with niranjan you will uh, be able to draw this even better let's make a boat again on the boat there is a man sitting okay there are mountains around so first there is a sun sun is the goal so you can make a box here and write what is your goal here there is a river going and on the side of the river there are lot of mountains mountains are your problems maybe you want to open your own company okay what are your obstacles no money okay then maybe your obstacle is no family support maybe your obstacle is no time so you can make them on these mountains and this is your vision what you want to achieve this is your boat and the supporting elements maybe on this and then you can make a friend here this could be the person who is supporting you for example if there is little priyansh here there is priyansh mummy here okay and priyansh one is to launch his own rocket one day priyansh makes very good rockets and bad at it that is his goal and now all the obstacles will be i won't be studying properly maybe i don't get good marks maybe i don't get enough time i watch too cut too many cartoons this way you can make it okay so today we are only working on the idea part and understanding how to do it next class which is tomorrow we'll draw more in detail about all of this i will you so your homework is let me tell you again first is about me second is your goals third one is very easy and very quick you have to tell me by drawing how did you like the class okay i don't want you to tell me i want you to draw and show me how did you like the class you have to draw it and post it on the whatsapp groups okay so three small goals about me to chalo we drew today only with the class so there is not much to do goals you might have to think you might have to sit what are my goals what i have to do third to you'll do immediately so very small homework how many of you will not do the homework not how many of you will not do the homework so 62 people are there in it i will see 62 homeworks by tomorrow 8 pm okay this is the idea 
PGB, yes, you can make the flags with milestones. See, now you guys are thinking exactly. You can make it with different milestones. Maybe you can work with your what do you say, whatever your professional goals are. However, you want to make your business doodles. This is a great application to show all of this. In a few um, days, I think on Thursday we'll be working on business doodles. So you'll be able to use business concepts to show this also. Sanjari, I had a small question. Hmm. This uh, third thing that we did about the mountains and all. So the goal you have written company and next to the boat you've written vision. What is the difference? Vision like, is that what do I have with me to take with me? Like what is the, this boat is like a vision. You are supporting your vision with it. Okay, very good idea. So for example, give me what is your idea of the, what do, what is your goal? So let's say right now my goal is to uh, create awareness in the grassroots levels. Okay. That is your goal. So you can write awareness, create awareness. How are you sure you will be able to do it? Uh, because of the skill set that I have of working with Absolutely. the masses. So that skills and all is because you have a vision, because of your skills, you are having a vision. These skills are your boat. That are going okay. to support. So they're the skills basically. Hmm. Okay. Like the strengths, basically, how we were doing strengths, obstacles, and all the things that you are, you know, have with you, which is giving you confidence that you can get there. Right. So right. Be there, right. Otherwise, you would not have that idea. If nothing, it could be I have a great idea. Correct. Okay. okay. So how will you do this? Okay, now I'll tell you a simple way to do it. Some icons, for example, you want to show honesty. How will you show that your skill is honesty? How will you show honesty? Angel. Angel. That will show dead. Angels will mean dead if I draw it. Somebody is dead and gone to heaven. What else? A stick man with... Uh speaking words and a thumbs up sign over there yes good maybe one person touching his heart hmm. honest or a hello one person saying no to lies hmm. a hello hello will show angel that is a very kind and honest person a kind and fair and just person or how do we say in court that you are there you touch a book right you take a pledge to show you are honest Gita pe haath ke hao. so stick figures and all we will be sharing later yeah mm -hmm. so i'll tell you in the homework there are three homeworks only anyways first is you make your about me then make the goal sheet and third how do you like this class so how there are going to be a lot of words for which you can't think of icon. Justice and also you will be able to think of icons like this. But what to do about things you don't know icons of. Okay, this is the shortcut I'm teaching you. I told you this is not a drawing class, it's a thinking class. So whenever you have to draw something, for example, you want to draw passion or ambition. Or say you want to draw fight, you want to draw collision, anything. Achha, my screen is not shared. Okay. So you go to a site called nounproject.com. Noun project icons. You can alternatively search for icons here also. For example, honesty. Just search for this honesty icons. But search this after you thought. This is a that is why I didn't tell you in the beginning. Because otherwise you would all follow this. After you have thought, then only do you go and look for icons here. So you will see in the images itself, lot of icons come. Otherwise you can use noun project. So this is a site where there is a collection of free icons. So you can look and there are almost universal acceptance of accepted versions of icons. You can look here. For example, I want to show that I am an introvert when I write my about me. So I will search introvert. Usually there is a lot of way to show introvert, but if you are not able to think of anything. So search for introvert, 
and you find the simplest icon that you can make. It's loading, give it a second. By the way, hydrate, I was so excited I could not tell about this. So you think about and you look for which is the most introvert one. This one I think is the most introvert one which shows somebody is locked. Locked. Um, Your mind is locked. So this is complex again. Don't try to make this. This is complex. You have to make something easy. Okay. This one is also a good icon for introvert. See, man is getting this. This is how you can do. Maybe you want to show uh, that you are a doc doctor. So easy. Give me a simple. Give me another one. Honesty. The one we just discussed. But first always think on yourself and then go and look. Otherwise you will not be able to think. When you have exhausted your possibilities, when you are like nahi sujra mujhse, then only do you go and look. Okay, for example, marriage. I want to show. It's easy. Two men, you should think first to a man or a woman holding hands and maybe they have a baby with it. Marriage. Okay. Uh, maybe you want to show religion. So you can show man and woman behind it a temple or a mosque or a plus sign. If you are not able to think, then only go and look for this. Ki what can I do to make it? Simple things, don't think, but very complex things. For example, zoo. How will I make a zoo? One way, you can make a tiger and put a cage on it. Not able to think, come here. Okay. So I want this promise from all of you that I will not look on the noun project until I have thought about it myself. Yes? Give me a yes, all of you. I will first think and then only I will do. Yes. Yes. It's a visual thinking class. It's not a visual searching class. If you search, then Google wins. Okay, now it's open for your questions and all. Tell me if you have any questions, if you have any doubts. So this week, every day we have a 8 o'clock class, right? Yeah, for Wednesday. So I have shared a calendar invite in case you've not got it. I will share it again. Please okay. add the calendar invite to it. So you will get notification for the classes. Uh, except for Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, 8 p.m. Saturday is a big class, which is going to be very important. 10 to 12 and Sunday graduation, 8 p.m. Okay. Saturday 10 to 12 in the morning, right? Yeah, yeah, morning, morning. Absolutely morning. I will not be able to, neither me and Niranjan will be able to sleep till, uh, will be able to stay awake till 12. Any other questions? It will improve your, if you have doubts about how it will help you, how it will use you, please ask. And uh, JC, you too, I want you to make a video now of all of this. I want you to make a video for this to illustrate your goals. Yeah, done, done. Yeah, yeah, you will have recordings of all these things. I will be uploading it on YouTube for you so that you can see it easily as well. I drew you, Sanjari. Uh, oh, show. Um, this one. Oh, Sancha. Oh my God. Look at this. So cute. Thank I you. look exactly like this. Yes. Can you share it with me in the group also? I'll keep it so nice. Thank you. I'll share it in the group. Thank you. My beautiful Harini had also drawn a beautiful picture of me. I've kept it with me. So yes, all of you can use doodles to show that, that how Sanchari took a class today, how much you enjoyed, what are you absorbed. Now the entire the page is blank and left for you to draw. So first you make an about me. Second, you draw your goals. And third, how this class.